my name is Caroline, welcome back to my channel. And today I thought I would make something not historical, but kind of historical, but cool. And that is because, you know, sometimes you need a break from making those historical things and just have a little fun, sorry airplane, have a little fun, make a little something campy and cool and, and fun. So today I'm going to be trying to recreate in my own vision one of the Patrick Kelly dresses of the 1990s. Now Patrick Kelly was a really amazing designer of the 1990s. I'll put some pictures in of his work. And they're just awesome, fun, like campy things to wear. And I thought I would have my hand at making one of the outfits. And one of the dresses that he used to make was these really cool um, prints of cotton kind of stretch. And then he'd have matching gloves and matching shoes and that sort of thing. So I thought um, I would use this fabric that I found a long time ago in my local like, you know, bargain bin, whatever, it was like $2 a yard, and it's stretchy and it has these really fun little um, girls that look like maybe late Victorian sort of prairie girls. But um, you know, I never knew what to make with it, I was going to make maybe like a clown outfit or something like that. I like to do clowning things too. Um, if you don't know Patch Adams, look him up. I went on a clowning trip with him, um, going around, being clowns and stuff like that. So that's something like I like to do. And um, I thought maybe I would make something for that. Um, and what he does is he goes to hospitals and he dresses up as a clown and um, you basically cheer people up that way. But that's another story. But <laughs> that's what I was originally going to use this for, but I never did. And I just think it'd be really fun to make something with this um, and then maybe make it a little bag or something like that. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do today. It's going to be a really simple design. And I'm just going to make something not so elaborate because sometimes you just want to make something fast, make something fun, and um, that's what I'm going to try to do. So stay tuned, you guys, if you want to see my attempt at doing that and if I can finish it today. All right. Okay, so I kind of based this off this Project Runway workroom pattern that I got, that I've had in my closet for a long time. It's not exactly the kind of one, I just wanted like a plain stretch dress, but I'm kind of like modifying it. And how I picked my sizes on the back, they have the sizes and the measurements. I always go by my waist size, which is a size 30 waist. Usually I have to take it in though, but we're, we're just going to see. We'll make a preliminary one with the waist size here. And then this is what I'm going to use for the gloves. So I've never attempted gloves before. Well, let's see how it goes. Um, if you want to look at the size of that, you can check out the size on the back of that as well. So, and then if you've never looked at a pattern before, it also tells you everything that you need for how many yards and that sort of thing. So you know what to buy even before you um, look at the fabric. So here I've just laid out the fabric. And one side has these huge dolly looking things and the other side has smaller prints of them and I wanted to do the dress in the smaller prints of them and the matching gloves in the smaller prints. Um, I was going to make little, a little bag to go with the whole thing too with the dolly thing but I just didn't end up doing it and I don't want to overwhelm myself because it was just supposed to be a fun project just to you know pass the time or not really pass the time but just kind of you know take a break from those elaborate costumes. Okay, so here I have the back of the pattern, and this the this pattern wanted me to do um, a seam up the back of the dress, but I didn't want to do that. So I just cut out a big piece, and then I knew that I would later on have to take it in a bit too later. Here's the front piece. It had like a separate piece that like the top went on, so I just like kind of made it my own because the nice thing about stretch material is that you can kind of fudge it a little bit like it, the, the fit doesn't have to be exactly perfect actually this is my first time using stretch material i've been intimidated by it but it actually went really easily and it's not too stretchy and all i did when i took it to the sewing machine was just go slow and try not to stretch it as i sewed so that's how i was able to you know make it so it fit well Okay, so now I have my back piece and my front piece. Literally, this is like just two pieces and I'm just pinning it all together and then I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and sew it. I'm not doing a lining, I'm not doing anything like that. It's just super easy. 
Um, I'm just going to pin down the sides of each of these and then take it to the sewing machine and then pin that um, shoulder seam and do that on the sewing machine and there we go. Okay, so as you can see when I sewed it, it's still very big. So what I did was I put it inside out so I can pin it and I'm going to pin you know, the sides so it's really tight to my waist. And the hips need to be taken in just a little bit, so I did that. And as you can see here, it fits well in the waist now. So I just took it in like that. So really, now the only thing left to do is the um, gloves and then the hem and stuff like that. So here you see I cut out the gloves. I didn't show the um, thing. And I was going to make a bag here, so I cut out this bit for like a bag. Like I thought it'd be kind of cool if I had like a paper bag kind of thing and make a drawstring. Maybe I'll do it eventually. Um, but for now, I didn't, but it would be cool in the future. And then my sister always also brought up it would be really campy if I had like an, a hat that matched this girl's hat in the photo. That would look pretty cool, but I didn't end up doing it, so... <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to show you the train wreck of the gloves that I made. Um, they were very hard to make. I've never made gloves before. Um, so literally, they were just there to like for the picture. And from far away, you can't even see the gloves. So like, you'll <laughs> have to do. But I, I really want to practice them making gloves because I think it looks really cool when you have the matching you know gloves I made one glove way too big and then the other glove I made way too small so here you can see the total mess up of the thumb and how one is huge and one is small I had to literally squeeze my fingers into it as a whole already but like I said photo op and then I'm just gonna have to figure out how to make gloves to really have some fun with it Next, I just took it to my special fancy, fancy iron, and I was going to, like, do this, do the hem and everything and, like, iron it, but actually, it was, I was kind of having, I kind of just got bored of it, and I realized, well, I can just, like, have the, the hem at the bottom unfinished because it's not going to unravel anyway because it's the stretch material, and it kind of was rolling up anyway. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to leave the bottom part not finished because it already looks finished anyway. And then I'm just going to hand roll the top, you know, part and the part where the sleeves go in and then just call that a day. And um, that's going to be my, you know, hem. So I only really hemmed the top it and then the inside of the sleeves and I, i'm gonna even show you guys that because it was just a whip stitch you didn't couldn't even barely see it probably should have documented the pattern but I didn't but it's okay um, and this is actually the first time I've worked with stretch material so that's kind of interesting um, it, it, it's actually like a really nice summer dress that I can wear it fits me really good the gloves are obviously useless but they're the whole fun of camp and if I had a matching hat I was gonna make a matching bag but I got overwhelmed with it so I didn't end up doing that but it was a lot of fun and I'm hoping to make more fun campy stuff um, do you see what I mean by me making stuff um, is campy? <laughs> is what I actually like to make. Costumes are kind of campy. 
but like this is what I would probably want to make because it's like I just need that extra pizzazz, the extra gloves. I hope Patrick Kelly would be proud. Um, so obviously I'm not a genius like him. This is inspired by him. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Tune back next time if you liked it. Give it a like if you're here. Um, thank you for subscribing and thank you so much for supporting me. Alright, bye!